My name is Marco Guerrini. I'm the vice director of the Rozzoni Institute. The last 40 years under uh, the leadership of Professor Casu, uh, our attention was focused mainly on glycosaminoglycans, particularly heparin and heparin sulfate. Heparin is a well-known anticoagulant drug and used extensively from uh, the 70 years ago in the clinics. Uh, the complex uh, structure of these molecules, this is a mixture of uh, uh, different trisulfated polysaccharides, is very challenging. And uh, uh, the correlation between the structure and the di different biological activity that uh, this molecule has uh, are still not fully disclosed. Until uh, 10 years, 15 years ago, the uh, use of NMR was mostly dedicated to the uh, research side, I mean, to study conformation and interaction between these molecules with protein or characterization of uh, specific sequences. Uh, the situation changed in 2007-2008 after the so-called heparin crisis. The heparin crisis was due to uh, contamination of some batches of heparin and this caused uh, the death of dozens of people in the US and uh, uh, thousands of uh, uh, serious side effects for patients that were treated with contaminated samples. The heparin crisis forced agency, FDA and EDQM in Europe, to uh, introduce new tests uh, to better control the quality of heparin. At that point, the proton NMR was included in the pharmacopoeia as a test for drug release. Even though the uh, proton NMR can help in the determination of purity of a sample, it cannot uh, provide a, a full description of the composition and characterization of the product. About 10 years ago, we started to use uh, uh, 2D NMR, particularly HSQC experiments, because this experiment allowed to spread signal in two dimensions, so we have much more information about the, uh, the composition of heparin. And we try to use these signals and to treat these signals in a quantitative way, so to determine the relative composition of a heparin, of each batch of heparin. Uh, thanks to the collaboration with the Food and Drug Administration, an analytical group of St. Louis, we optimized the method, uh, investigating in all parameters that can affect the results. So we verify, we demonstrate that this method is reproducible, is precise and can be used to compare batch to batch in industrial production or identify possible contaminants that can be present in the product. After development of this uh, quantitative HSQC method, we realized that uh, uh, this application is limited to very well skilled lab, NMR lab, but we would like to uh, uh, give a possibility to other uh, groups and other labs to use the same methodology. Thanks to the historical collaboration that the Institute has with Broker, we decided to implement and to try to implement the method on Assure NMR. Assure NMR can help us because it's possible to automatize all operations that manually are done during the, the analysis uh, in a fully automatic way. So there is not any more in the uh, influence of operator and all operation from uh, uh, measurement, calibration, measurement and uh, elaboration of data can be done automatically. Uh, one of the key benefits of Assure NMR is that this method is fully standardized and can be used in GMP environment. For this reason, we use uh, uh, Assure, already use Assure for, to run uh, NMR test present in pharmacopoeia. Even though this method, the quantitative HSQC method, appear quite complex, uh, I believe that thanks to Assure NMR, it could be implemented in the pharmacopoeia as a routinary test to heparin and complex drug molecules control.